Well, okay, this uh, video is going to be a test of my ability to successfully record a screencast. Um, I'm using this program called GTK Record My Desktop, which is a free uh, screencasting program that was made for Linux. And uh, I did use it successfully in the past uh, when I made my video on how to do a video response. I used it to show you the screens. Um, but uh, ever since then I always had trouble getting it to work and when it, when it did work I didn't have audio. It just recorded the visual. But uh, recently I updated my system to the latest version of Ubuntu Linux version 11.10. Uh, and I thought I'd give it a try again, and uh, I think I got it working. What I did to get the sound working was, uh, in the sound settings, you could specify the input, and it was set to default. Um, and what I did, because uh, Ubuntu uses pulse audio for sound, uh, I changed it from default to, uh, to pulse. And save that, and then I had to go in, in my sound settings and change uh, and unmute my microphone and experiment with the settings so that uh, it wasn't too too soft or too loud so I hope this is working if this is working you can both hear me and you'll be able to hear the sound effects from this game Minecraft alright let's, uh, let's go into this I got Minecraft about, uh, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago. I've been, so I'm kind of a beginner. I've been spending some time exploring and building some stuff. And this right here is my glass tower. This is my home base. And I have this observation deck on top. My randomly generated world um, it seems to be mostly islands, little islands and a lot of water. I don't really have any big land masses. That island there was my original spawn point and that stone tower um, is at the location of my original house which was really just a hole in the ground that I made to, uh, to keep the zombies off me. Um, let's see Let's kind of show you. Oh, this this is kind of cool. I made a little floating island with a house on it, a couple trees. I can show you that later. Um, let's see. This glass house here was originally just one level, but since then I and I had a, an observation tower next to it made of stone. Decided it would look better if I if I tore down the tower and just made my my house extremely tall. And that's what I did. It's actually the the maximum height. There's a limit to how high you can build, which I I think is like 64 blocks above sea level. So I've got all these rooms and nothing to put in them. Here's the bottom right there. Okay. So let's see. Oops. I have this underwater observation room, which is kind of fun to build. It was a little turkey. This is actually underwater. You can see the island from over here. And I built this uh, underground railway to take me over to the other island. And it does have it does have tracks and a minecart, but I haven't been able to figure out yet how to how to get this moving. You know, I can I can get in it easy enough, but pushing the forward and back doesn't doesn't make it move. So. I need to just hit my head in the ceiling. I don't know. So I got to figure that out. 
That'll be pretty sweet once I get this set up. I can zip back and forth between the islands. Oh, if this looks kind of grainy, it's because I'm recording in windowed mode. I did try recording using GTK, record my desktop in full screen mode, and it was kind of... Uh, this, the video was kind of laggy, stopping and starting. And what this program does is it uh, stores the video in a in a temporary directory, and then when you're done recording, it renders it. And the temporary directory was on my my boot volume, which on this computer I have a, a, a partition which is 15 gig gigabytes, which I boot from, and then I have a 300 gigabyte uh, data partition. And it was storing the temporary files on the boot partition. I was running out of room pretty easily. So I decided to record in uh, windowed mode to make it more responsive and use less memory. I know I could probably set the... Uh, um, I could change the, the temporary folder to something on my data drive. Um, but I haven't done that yet. Oh, this is this is kind of interesting. I made a moat around my tower here. I directed the water to flow around this way on both sides, and then down here. And that poor chicken has gotten trapped there. I did that so that uh, and to pre protect it from uh, Enderman, basically, so that. If anybody, if any monsters step in here, they just get swept away. They don't uh, attack the structure, and that's it's not too exciting inside. It just has a staircase that goes all the way around up to the top. Let me show you my floating island. The most time-consuming part of building this was getting grass to grow up there. Because as you may know, you can't pick up grass and put it down again. You have to uh, wait for it. You have to put down uh, dirt blocks and wait for it to grow. So I built a, um, a dirt staircase from that island all the way up there. I had to wait a really, really long time for the, uh, the grass to grow up to my little staircase before I took it down. And this is how I get up here. I have a, uh, a shaft of water, which I can climb up, or swim up. Now, if I stay in this the whole time, I actually drown, so I have to stick my head out into the air so I can survive the trip up there. And you can see the stone underneath this. I actually set up sort of a, a scaffolding underneath it when I was building this, which I have since uh, torn down. Kind of simple up here, sort of a little retreat. Got a garden, a couple trees, a little log cabin. That's pretty much it. And I'm sure you saw all these vines. These were one block deep when I attached them here. I, I actually found those in a swamp. They were growing on the trees in a swampy area. And uh, I took the shears, the same shears that you use to take wool off a sheep, and uh, I clipped it off the trees and just stuck it around the sides here, and hoping it would grow down a little bit and make it look kind of organic and natural. But, uh, 
they've grown, grown down quite a ways. They've all, almost reached the bottom, the, the water anyway. Now because that's water down there, I can actually jump off here and survive, so let me do that. Most of them have, have reached the water. Anyway. Oh, there's one more thing I want to show you. My first attempt at... I tried to build something called a mob trap. Which is a way of... Uh, getting the monsters to appear in a certain... in a controlled way. And then killing them so that <laughs> you get their treasures. Uh, and I, I did it mainly because I wanted to get arrows, because arrows are kind of hard to come by. There are not a lot of chickens on this on this map, so you can't get feathers to make, uh, to make arrows. So my first one, I don't know if you can see it from here, it's over there somewhere, it's, it's this big platform in the sky with a hole in it, and there's water which pushes there's spawning platforms, and then uh, water which pushes the uh, monsters into a hole in the middle, and then they drop down and die from falling damage. But it wasn't make it wasn't generating a lot of treasure, and it was really only useful at night, and it was kind of hard to get to because it's on a little a little stubby island out in the water, so. I decided to make something a little more ambitious, and that's what I'm working on right here. This is going to be a giant tower full of platforms that the monsters can spawn on, and it's going to be all enclosed so that they can, you know, even when it's not at night, even during the daytime, they can uh, spawn. And you probably noticed there's no monsters here. I have this set to peaceful mode just so I can build this, and then I'm going to turn it off again. And this is where the... This little stream is where the loot will collect, hopefully. And I have a moat around here also. With water that sweeps all the way around to the back. This is the basic shape here. I've got water. There's only two blocks of water in here, but there's different levels, and it kind of cascades down to a point right underneath me where I have some lava, and the monsters get uh, burned up by the lava and then drop their treasures down uh, a hole. At least that's the theory. And I'm going to make the platforms kind of like this. They're two by two, so they're big enough for a uh, spider to fall through. That glass is where the the moat ends up underneath the that uh, that grass. There's my lava trap, and you can see the little hole underneath it. But the only problem that I can think of with this configuration. I'm going to make these too high so Endermen cannot spawn inside here. And, uh, you know, because they remove blocks and destroy uh, structure. Let me show you something. Just uh, throw a couple things in there. The water, <coughs> the water in those two corners if you drop something down either there or there, it seems to get stuck on the edge of that ladder and doesn't drop down the hole. Whereas if I if I drop something oops. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good at basketball. There we go. If you drop it anywhere else. Whoops, I guess I'm running out of room again. Well, that's basically... <laughs> that's it. Um, 
I'm still working on this design, but that is uh, that's what I'm I'm trying to do, and I I hope this recording worked. Uh, if it did, I'll upload it to YouTube, and you can all tell me how awful I am at Minecraft. Thanks for watching.